Our service from St Jude's United Church Englefield Green and a very warm welcome to visitors not only here in the church but also from far afield. I know that two of Jenny's friends are with us this morning from South Africa and there may be others as well so you're all very welcome as we join together today. 
I'm joined by Judith, by Guy and Chloe and Jeff, who are leading the musical side of our worship, and I'm extremely grateful to them for all that they've done to help me in preparing for this service this morning, and I hope that you enjoy our time together today. We are loosely following the pink book that you will have on your chair. If you'd like to open that at the first page, we start with the words for the introduction. God's grace and peace are with us. Let our hearts be filled with joy. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, give us a vision of your glory that we may worship you in spirit and in truth and offer the praise of glad and thankful hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our opening hymn this morning is number 505, Lord Jesus Christ. Chloe is going to sing this for us, and uh, we're omitting the second verse. share in some prayers together. Let us take a few moments to call to mind the ways in which we have fallen short of God's love. Lord Jesus, you came into the world to save sinners. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We have brought sorrow and hurt to you, to others and to ourselves. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You give yourself to heal and renew us and to bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. God is love and forgives our sins through Jesus. Amen. God, faithful and true, you call every generation to make a pilgrim journey. Guide our feet along the road of faith, that we may put our whole trust in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This morning we are only going to listen to one reading from the Bible, and it's uh, from Mark, and Brian Summers is going to read it to us. It's not from a common translation. We've tried to uh, um, update it a bit, and I don't know if it works or not. You'll tell me afterwards. Thank you, Brian. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. After choosing his twelve apostles, Jesus returned home. He didn't even have time to eat before a crowd gathered to see him. 
Jesus' family were worried about him because people were saying he was crazy. And they tried to stop him. The scribes who came from Jerusalem said, He has Satan's power and he's using it to cast out evil spirits. But Jesus told them a parable. How can Satan get rid of Satan? If the people in a kingdom fight against each other, they will destroy their own kingdom. If members of the same family fight against each other, they will destroy their own family. And if Satan fights against Satan, he will destroy himself. Jesus said, let me tell you another story. No one can enter the house of a strong man and steal all his possessions without tying him up first. Once he's tied up, then the house can be robbed. Listen carefully. There's nothing you can do or say that cannot be forgiven. But if you speak against God's Holy Spirit, you will never be forgiven. Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived and sent a message for him to come. The crowd sitting with Jesus said, Your mother, brothers and sisters are waiting outside for you. Jesus asked, Who are my mother and brothers? He looked around at each person there and said, Here they are. Each one of you who lives according to the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Thank you, Brian, for sharing that passage with us this morning. There's lots in it, lots for us to explore, and we're just going to look at one aspect of it this morning. But before we do that, we're going to sing or listen to another hymn. It's number 393 in Common Praise. Brother, sister, let me serve you. But we're leaving out verses 3, 5, and 6. Thank you, Claire. thoughts contained within that hymn for us to think about this morning. So something for us to think about now. In my house I've got an aquarium and I brought a picture of it because I couldn't bring it along with me today but uh, here's, a, here's a picture of it. I like my aquarium although my wife tells me it takes far too much of my time keeping it clean and looking after it but that's another story. It's got quite a lot of fish in it. You can see some of them floating around in there, can't you? Um, some are big, some are tiny. And they are what are known as community fish. I wonder why they're called community fish. Some swim at the top, some swim in the middle, and some swim down the bottom of the tank. I've got a filter that keeps the water nice and clean, and there are plenty of plants for them all to enjoy. You'll have got an envelope, a little brown envelope. Um, I'd like you to look in that envelope, if you would, for me. And inside it, you'll find some pictures of fishes. You can do this if you're a grown-up as well. You don't just have to be a child to do this one. 
Um, and of course you can take it away with you afterwards if you've got grandchildren you'd like to share it with. But there are some pictures of fishes in there, and I wonder if you can put them in the right families for me. There's a job. I have to tell you, there's an odd one out. There's one that doesn't fit, and I wonder if you can work out which is the one that doesn't fit out of that set of pictures of the fish. And then, there's another question. I wonder if you can tell me what the name of their family is. I'll tell you the name of one of the families. Some of them are called Neons. That's their family name. They are called Neons. Other ones are called Rainbow Fish. I wonder which ones might be called Rainbow Fish. And then there's some called Corridorus. That's a strange name, isn't it? Corridorus Fish. And there's an odd one out which sits, um, uh, and that one is a plec. He's known as a plec, or he or she. So, have you managed to have a look at those? Have you put them into some sets? Because what I've done, I've, I've already been through it for you, and I can show you how the sets work now. I hope. So those are all the Corridorus catfish. They, they're on the bottom. They scavenge around. They spend all their time looking for bits of stuff on the bottom of the tank. That's why you can see all the stones in there. I'll tell you their names, shall I? They're Corridorus, but they've got another family name. This one up here, here's a bronze Corridorus. This one is called a laser Corridorus. Now I wonder if you can guess the name of this one. Can anybody guess the name of the one at the bottom? What might, might that one be called? Any ideas? Something to do with his colour. What colour is he? Black. He's black and that's his name. Exactly right. He is a black cor one family, Corridorus, three different types. And in fact, there are thousands of types of Corridorus. Um, if you've got fish tanks or you look at fish, you'll, you'll know something about that. Anyway, let's have a look at another set now. Oh, I wonder what these might be called. Can anybody tell me what those might be called? They're sort of shiny, aren't they? Any ideas what they might be called? Yep. I'm going to ask Jenny. Jenny's going to tell me. Oh, no idea. No idea. Oh, I'm just... Oh, <laughs> the, the, guy, the guy's going to tell me. Neon and Cardinal Tetras. Neon. Neon. Neon and Cardinal Tetras. You see, he's really good, isn't he? There we are, we've got an expert in our midst today. But one of them is not just a neon card uh, tetra, he's got another name as well. What's the name of this one up here? It's not the same as those two. It's to do with his colour, which isn't perhaps quite so clear. No, no, he's a green te uh, neon, a green neon tetra. So we've got a green one, we've got an ordinary one, and we've got a cardinal. So that's the three types of tetras in, in the tank. Let's have a look at another picture. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Go back the other way. There we are. So you probably know what these ones are called, don't you? Yeah. What? Rainbow. They're the rainbow ones. That's right. Now, if I'm honest, I don't know their names. That's bad, isn't it? I know the name of one of them. Um, um, this one up here. That one's called a Bozeman rainbow fish. Um, and the other one, this one here, has got a very long tail, as you can see. That one's got very colourful fins. And that one down there's got a, a sort of a, um, a scarlet stripe down the middle of it. So, four fishes, all with a family name of rain, a rainbow fish, and all with different names um, because of their type. So, there's, you should all have one fish left. Have you got the one that's left? Can you show me the one that's left? Yeah, that one. So, I wonder what that one is. Let's just put him up on the screen. Ooh, he's a bit ugly, isn't he? He's um, a bristle-nose albino placostomus. I wouldn't like to wander around with that name or fill a form in if that was my name, but that, that is what that, that one is. And you can see he's got like a sucker. That's his mouth. And he sticks on the glass. And you can watch him cleaning the glass. It's, it's very funny watching him do what he does. He's a very strange fish. And you can see he's got a red eye because he's an albino. But again, 
Um, that's another type of fish, but it's all on its own. He hasn't got any other ones that I've joined, uh, linked into today. So um, let's uh, put those down there for a moment. Thank you. In our Bible reading today, we heard something about families. We heard about the family that Jesus belonged to. And he told stories about families to help us see that sometimes we need to look outside the walls of our immediate family to discover the links that we have with other people as well and to see if we can become close to them too. I don't think Jesus was saying, I don't love my mum, I don't love my brothers and my sisters, although I do know that Jesus fell out with his brothers, but then don't brothers do that? Isn't that what happens in families? And sometimes things happen in families that are, are very sad. And we come together and we support each other because families are really, really important to us. Jesus says that he wants everyone to be in God's family. That's what Jesus was saying to these people in this room. They all came from different families. They all had different hobbies. They all did different jobs. They all did different things. And Jesus said, there's one thing that should join you all together. And that's wanting to do what God wants you to do. Jesus says, yeah, I, I do like my family. I love my mum. I love my brothers and sisters, really. But I want to, everybody to love everybody else. And when I see people getting upset and having problems, it makes me sad, said Jesus. So I want you to do your bit to come together. It's a bit like my aquarium. I said all the fish in my aquarium are part of a community. They don't know each other. I don't know what fishes think about really, but there we have those fishes. They're all in one place and they sort of get on. The very big rainbow fish does sometimes chase some of the other fish around. But in the main, they get on and they're friendly to each other. We want our own space. Sometimes we might want to share that with other people who have the same interests as us. But the most important thing is that we should try to get on with everybody and help them get to know Jesus too. That's the job of the church. That's our job. To say to people, I want you to be part of God's family. I really want you to come along and share in this with us too. So that's the important thing about this story. Jesus is saying, be friends with each other and encourage each other as you go along. You have another piece of paper, which is, you probably guessed it, a bowl. It's a fish bowl. Now I've cheated, because I've already done mine. I've cut out all my fish, and I put them in my bowl. I wonder if you can take your fishes home with you, and put your fishes in the bowl. And you can either put them in families, like I've done, I've tried to link them into families, or you might say, I'm gonna mix them all up because they're all friends and they all share with each other. So, and at the bottom it says that the verse from our reading this morning, which Jesus said, everyone who lives according to the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. We are part of that family. So there's a little task for you to do, or you can carry on doing that, or you could, well you haven't really got any scissors, so I don't think you can do it now, but you can think about where you might want to put your fish in your fish bowl when you get home. So we're going to declare our faith now, and this is in the pink book, and we won't stand as we do this, but we'll go through this together, declaring what we believe. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Judith is going to lead our prayers for us now.
going to do our prayers this morning like we've done them once before. And it's lovely to see four younger people in church because you'll be able to help by holding up your thumb and your fingers as we pray. And at the end of each little prayer, I'm going to say, Lord, in your mercy, and I'm going to ask everybody to say, hear our prayer. So we're going to use our hand because sometimes we put our hands together to pray. So first of all, we're going to use our thumb. Can you manage a thumb? Yeah? Now, what do we mean when we do that with our thumb? Yes. Yes, we mean something's good. So something's good. Let's say thank you to God for something good, and I'm going to do that now. Heavenly Father, thank you for Andrew's talk to us this morning. And thank you that we are all members of your family here. Lord, in your mercy, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Now this is called an index finger because sometimes we use it to point. And if someone says, what's the way? I realise there's five children, so even one at the back is doing this. If someone asks for the way, we say that way. So I'm going to say a short prayer for people who show us the way and I'm going to pray for our teachers because most of you are going back to school tomorrow. Heavenly Father, thank you for our teachers. Thank you for those who teach here in Englefield Green. Please bless them as we return to school tomorrow. Lord, in your mercy, hear our our prayer. I don't know about your middle finger, but my middle finger is a bit longer than some of my other fingers, and it makes me think of people who are especially important in our world. And I'm going to say a very short prayer for the leaders of the countries who are meeting this week in Cornwall. Heavenly Father, we pray for the leaders of all the nations of the world, and especially for the leaders of the G7 who have their summit in Cornwall this week. We pray that you will bless and guide them in their decision-making. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Now, I can't hold this one up on its own. I have to help it. But some people here have got a ring on this finger, which shows that they are married to somebody. And so we're going to pray for the people who are really special to us. And I don't just mean the people we're married to. I mean people in our lives who are really special to us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our families. We thank you for all the loving memories of our families. And we pray your blessing upon our families, wherever they may be, here and in eternity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And last of all, the little finger. You're doing very well, all of you, thank you. This little finger... We pray for those who are in special need at this time. This little finger, because it's small, is especially vulnerable. And let's pray for people who are sick and who are sad. Heavenly Father, we pray especially today for those in need. We pray for Canon John Foles, who is very unwell at this time, and for those who are looking after him. And we pray for those who are sad. We remember Ali's mum, Doreen Reed. We pray for her husband, Stuart, for Ali and Janie and all the family in their sorrow. And we pray that Doreen may be surrounded by your love and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you do hear our prayer and that you answer our prayer according to our need. Amen. Thank you, Judith. I'll have to remember that one. I haven't done that one myself. So thank you. We're going to share the peace now. We're not going to physically go round and share the peace, but we're going to reflect on the words that are in our book on page four. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, I leave you peace. My peace I give to you. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And And also also with you. The Lord be with you. And And also also with you. Lift up your hearts. We We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is right to give thanks and praise. 
Lord our Father, we give you thanks and praise for all that you have made, for the stars in their splendour, and the world in its wonder, and for the glorious gift of human life. Holy God, you go on loving us even when we turn away from you. You sent your Son Jesus, he healed those who were sick, wept with those who were sad, and forgave sinners. To show the world your love, he died for us all on the cross, and you raised him up in glory. On the night before Jesus died, he had supper with his disciples. you as we are thanking you. He broke the bread and he gave it to them saying, take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this to remember me. And after supper he took a cup of wine, thanked you and gave it to his disciples saying, drink from it all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. It will be shed for you and for all people. For the, gift, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this to remember me. And so, God of love, we remember that Jesus died and rose again to make all things new. Through his offering for us all, we offer our whole life to you in thanks and praise. Send your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine may be for us Christ's saving body and blood. May this same Spirit unite us with all your people on earth and in heaven. Bring us at last to live in your glory with all your saints, that we may praise you forever through Jesus your Son in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We say together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. When we break the bread, in the body of Christ. Christ, Christ is, is the bread of life. When we give thanks for the cup of blessing, we share in the blood of Christ. Christ, Christ is the true life. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word. And I shall be healed. The body of Christ given for me. Amen. The blood of Christ shed for us.
have seen with our eyes and touched with our hands the bread of heaven. Strengthen us in our life together, that we may grow in love for you and for each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I'm going to invite Judith to come and share some notices with us now. First of all, some very brief notices. It's lovely to see you this morning and lovely to see some children back in church. And a special welcome, and you'll understand why in a moment, but a special welcome to Phoebe this morning. And thank you for all your hard work on our behalf. Phoebe's been reading our prayer in our pre-recorded service many times. <coughs> our service next Sunday morning is an 8 a.m. service of Holy Communion. It's from the Book of Common Prayer, and the celebrant will be the Reverend Orion Edgar, who is the Church of England chaplain at Royal Holloway University College. There will be a pre-recorded service at 9.30 on our YouTube channel, as usual. As you leave the church this morning, and we're still going out this way, you'll find some wonderful new St Jude's notelets, which have been prepared and produced for us by Andrew Shear, they have some lovely images of St Jude's on them and they are on sale for 50 pence each or a bargain, a pack of five, for two pounds. So do have a look as you leave. And money's raised, of course, go to the work of St Jude's. To remind you also that we have launched an appeal to buy our own audio-visual equipment. We continue to be so indebted to Guy and to Chloe for all that they do for us Sunday by Sunday and it feels time to buy our own equipment so that we can go on and maintain an online presence so that those who cannot be with us in church can worship with us still. I hope that's all the notices, but I have something really important to do, and that's to publish Bands of Marriage, and some of you will well understand why I feel very glad and emotional to be able to publish these bands, because COVID has stood in the way of this marriage. So, I published the Bands of Marriage between Gary Peter Ledsom of the parish of St Matthew's Ashford and on the electoral roll of this parish and Catherine Louise Roberts of the parish of St Matthew's Ashford and on the electoral roll of this parish. This is for the first time of asking if any of you know any reason in law why Gary and Catherine may not marry each other. You are to declare it now. Just a short prayer for you. Heavenly Father, thank you for Gary and Kate and their family. Thank you for bringing them together in love for each other. And we pray especially for Gary and Kate as they prepare for their marriage, for the wedding service so long delayed. We pray your blessing upon them and upon their home. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Judith, for those notices and for all that you're doing here at St. Jude's. Our final hymn today is number 477 in common praise. In Christ there is no east or west, and we're singing all the verses. Chloe's going to lead us in that now. Thank you, Chloe.
blessing of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit be upon us now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.